Welcome to A to Z Summary YouTube channel. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the novel A Farewell to Arms by Ernest Hemingway. Before proceeding further I request you to please subscribe our channel and like the video, also comment your favorite books and novel so that I can provide summary for it, now let's start with the summary. The characters in the book are The themes of the novel are A Farewell to Arms by Ernest Hemingway is a classic novel set during World War I. The story follows the experiences of an American ambulance driver named Frederick Henry, who serves in the Italian army. He falls in love with a British nurse named Catherine Barclay. As the war unfolds, their relationship faces challenges and tragedies. Hemingway's writing style is known for its simplicity and depth. The characters grapple with the harsh realities of war and the narrative captures the emotional toll it takes on them. The title, A Farewell to Arms, reflects both the physical and emotional aspects of the characters' journeys. The novel is praised for its powerful depiction of the human experience amid the chaos of war, and it remains a significant work in American literature. The novel begins with the protagonist, Frederick Henry, serving as an ambulance driver on the Italian front during World War I. His detachment and cynicism towards the war are evident from the start. He introduces the readers to his fellow soldiers and paints a vivid picture of the harsh conditions they face on the front lines. The camaraderie and the constant threat of death create a tense and somber atmosphere. Frederick's interactions with his comrades reveal his detachment, emphasizing his reluctance to be emotionally invested in the war. However, this changes when he meets Catherine Barclay, an English nurse who tends to him after he is injured. Their initial encounters are marked by a reserved politeness, but there is an underlying tension that foreshadows the intense connection that will develop between them. As Frederick and Catherine spend more time together, their relationship evolves. The war, with its constant danger and uncertainty, serves as a backdrop to their growing connection. Hemingway's minimalist prose captures the intensity of their emotions, portraying love as a refuge from the chaos surrounding them. The development of Frederick and Catherine's relationship is gradual, allowing the readers to witness the subtle shifts in their dynamic. The war, with its ever-present threat, creates a sense of urgency, propelling them into each other's arms for solace and comfort. The blossoming romance is tenderly depicted, offering a stark contrast to the brutality of the war. As the war rages on and the situation becomes increasingly perilous, Frederick and Catherine decide to escape to neutral Switzerland seeking a sanctuary where they can be together without the constant threat of conflict. This decision marks a turning point in the novel, introducing an element of suspense and desperation. The journey to Switzerland is fraught with challenges, mirroring the hardships of their relationship. They navigate through treacherous terrain, facing obstacles that test the strength of their bond. The escapade serves as a microcosm of their struggle to find stability and happiness amidst the chaos of war. In Switzerland, Frederick and Catherine attempt to build a life together, free from the constraints of the war. However, their newfound happiness is marred by the challenges that life throws at them. Catherine becomes pregnant, adding a layer of complexity to their relationship. The specter of loss looms large as Frederick grapples with the fear of losing Catherine and their unborn child. Hemingway skillfully explores the vulnerability and fragility of love in the face of external forces. The idyllic setting of Switzerland becomes a battleground for their emotions, and readers are drawn into the emotional roller coaster that defines this phase of the novel. The narrative takes a tragic turn as Catherine goes into labor. The birth is complicated, and despite the efforts of the medical staff, Catherine and the child do not survive. The sudden and heart wrenching loss shatters Frederick, plunging him into a profound grief that reverberates throughout the novel. Hemingway's portrayal of loss is raw and unflinching capturing the devastating impact it has on Frederick. The once idyllic Switzerland becomes a haunting landscape, echoing the emptiness left by Catherine's death. The readers are emotionally invested in Frederick's pain, making this section of the novel particularly poignant. The title of the novel takes on new meaning as Frederick grapples with the harsh reality of Catherine's death. The farewell becomes both a literal and metaphorical parting, emphasizing the transient nature of life and love. Frederick's journey becomes a quest for meaning in the face of profound loss. As Frederick comes to terms with the emptiness left by Catherine's absence, 
the readers are taken on a soul-searching odyssey. The novel delves into the complexities of grief and the indelible scars left by war. Hemingway's narrative invites reflection on the ephemeral nature of human connections and the enduring impact of love, even in the face of tragedy. The concluding part of the novel sees Frederick reflecting on his experiences and the lessons learned from love and loss. The war, once a distant and impersonal backdrop, now takes on a more personal and introspective significance. Frederick grapples with the aftermath of his time on the front lines and the emotional toll it has taken on him. The novel ends on a note of redemption as Frederick confronts his past and seeks a semblance of peace. The journey of self-discovery is marked by the scars of war and the enduring memory of Catherine. Hemingway's exploration of the human spirit's resilience in the face of adversity provides a poignant and hopeful conclusion to the novel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content.